Hello, everyone, and welcome to the J3 University YouTube channel. My name is Daniel Coffin. I am the lead posing educator for J3 University, and today we are going to do a posing breakdown of the teacup pose. So the teacup pose, I'm sure you have all seen before, is a very aesthetic, and most people categorize it into the classic physique division. Um, and that's where you see it most, but just know it, it, it is universal. You can use it as a bodybuilder as well. But the reason I want to talk about this today is because there's something that is quite often overlooked in this pose, and a lot of people don't do this pose because they, they struggle with the shifting of the hips that's required to, to create the taper of the teacup. The taper comes from the disassociation of the rib cage to the pelvis. And what I mean by that is that the pelvis and the rib cage, when they're disassociated, it means they're facing in different directions. So you can see here, my pelvis is facing this way, my rib cage is facing this way. That's disassociation. If they were pointing in the same direction, that would be association. So when you do this hip shift, what you do, you start from your front relaxed pose basically, and then you shift all your weight to one side. And then, so that's lateral. We shift all our weight laterally. Now we have to go posteriorly. So now from here, I take that hip, I pull it back. When I pull that hip back, I'm really trying to disengage all of my abductors, my abductors, all these muscles that do this, that provide stability for the pelvis. In this pose, I don't want to be very stable at all. I want to be real loose through this hip. So when you shift that hip back, you want to turn those muscles off and that's what allows that hip to shift right into place. You're still treating this leg as if you were in your front relax, so you're still grabbing the floor, activating the quad. This foot doesn't change much at all. It actually just elevates the, we just elevate the heel a little bit, maybe step it up. Your, your indicator for how far your feet can be apart is uh, the development within your adductors. This is too far with the thigh gap. This is just fine because they're touching. So when we get into this pose, we shift all our weight to the left, uh, yeah, to the left and to the rear. I push my butt over my hip and I also make sure that my heel, my hip and my head are all on the same line. Then I do a lat spread with this hand. So right underneath the 10th rib, right on top of the hip bone, I flare that lat. And then this hand is just a bicep pose where we are keeping the elbow forward, the wrist back, and we're trying not to stretch the lap. So right about 90 degrees. Now, there's some variations to this pose as well. You don't have to do the vacuum. That's something I do. You can crunch down. It just depends on which is the best look for your mid-session. So there you go. There was a quick little rundown of the teacup pose and a little bit more in-depth breakdown of the hip shift itself. I hope you found that valuable. Thank you so much for watching today. Please like, share, and subscribe to the J3 University channel where we elevate physique coaching education.